Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show some useful features of Bixby. If you're if you're a forgetful person and you misplace your phone a lot, um, this doesn't work with the Google Assistant. So in this way, Bixby is actually superior. So watch. Um, hi, Bixby. Oh, you have to make sure it makes the tone. Hi, Bixby. Hi, Bixby. Flashlight on. So sometimes just saying hi Bixby is um, kind of hearing the tone is good enough that you can find it. But as you can see, I have it under a blanket. If it's too covered, then you won't be able to see it. But as you can see, um, even though it's under like a thin blanket, you can see it as long as it's dark in the room. Um, so that way you can find your phone. Even just the blue tone can help you find the phone. Um, but here's another feature. Um, so let me turn off the flashlight. Hi Bixby. Flashlight off. Okay. Okay. So for this feature, you can't have any external Bluetooth um, speakers or anything connected to it because then it'll just play the audio from there. But let's say you lost your phone in a room and you don't know where it is. You don't have to be close to the phone as long as Bixby can hear you well enough. So let's try this again. Hi, Bixby. Tell me a story. So here you can see it starts playing like a long thing. I don't want it to... Okay, shut up. Bixby, shut up. There you go. So as you can see, like if you lost your phone, you can't see it, but it's somewhere nearby. Or you can just go through every room and just and just say, hi, Bixby. Um, and if you... Oh, go away. I didn't understand that. <laughs> So it, so you can just go to every room and just say that. And if you hear the bloop sound, then you know it's in there. And once you find out that's the room it's in, then you can just tell it to tell you a story. And then you can look for your phone. But um, if it's in a dark uh, or if it's hard to see, maybe it's covered so, or in the dark. Um, so you can just tell it to turn on the flashlight. But now I'll show you like what Google does. It doesn't even make a bloop sound. Okay, Google. No response. <laughs> Flashlight on. Turning flashlight okay, on. so flashlight works, but you won't get a um, audio like feedback, so you won't know that Google's actually activated. Okay, Google. Flashlight off. Turning flashlight See, off. See, so I won't know if the phone is in that room, so Bixby is kind of useful in that way. Um, unless you muted Bixby, of course. But um, okay, so now the story thing. It, I don't know if there's a way to do this with the Google one, but if I tell it to tell me a story, it doesn't do it. Okay, Google, tell me a story. It's not doing anything. Instead, what it does is it does this. Okay, maybe I have to ask it to tell me a specific story. Let's try it. Okay, Google, tell me a bedtime story. Nothing happens. See, it wants you to unlock your phone. So, oh, my ringtone's playing. But yeah, as you can see, it doesn't work with the Google Voice Assistant. The flashlight thing, I guess, works. It talks a little bit. So, okay, Google. Flashlight on. Turning flashlight on. If you're in a completely dark room, I guess it turns on your screen as well. Okay, Google. Flashlight off. Turning flashlight so, off. So at least that's useful that it turns your screen on. Okay, Google. Screen off. Oh, I guess that doesn't work. Stop it. I guess you can do that. <laughs> step -step so if you want a phone. story or, I mean, a long uh, dialogue, then you can do that. But again, it doesn't have a audio confirmation maybe there's a setting that you can change so if you know you lose your phone a lot you can set it up um, but yeah I guess that's one way you can find your phone if you don't uh, have another phone or someone to to call or ask to give you a call or maybe you like your phone on silent but you leave your voice assistant on so Bixby is not part e part of the regular volumes so if you look at here there's the media, ringtone, notification system. So you can basically mute everything except your um, Bixby. So let's say you muted everything, right? 
And then you can say, okay, Bixby, or hi, Bixby, tell me a story. Oh, it's not coming on now. Hi, Bixby, tell me a story. Oh, some bugs are getting zapped. Some buggies are getting zapped. Okay. But yeah, see? You can hear. Alright, so that's good enough. <laughs> but yeah, if you lose your phone, or if you're a forgetful person, you lose your phone a lot, that's a great feature. Um, I guess you can do it with Google too. I don't know how to do a long vocal thing, but I guess you can tell it to turn off your screen or lock your phone, and then it will tell you that it can't do that. So, okay, Google. Lock screen. Oh, I guess if your phone's on silent, then Google can't talk. <laughs> so let's see what does Google need to talk. System, maybe? Okay, ringtone. Maybe media. Okay, let's try system and ringtone. Okay, Google. Lock screen. Nope. Let's see, let's try... Is it going to let me change the volumes now? No? Okay, Google. There we go. Let's see here. Okay, Google. Lock my screen. I can't lock your phone for you, but you can press the... Okay, Google. Lock screen. According to Wikipedia... A lock screen is a computer... Okay, I guess you can ask Google a question and then that can help you find the phone. Um, Alright, so hopefully this video helps some people that lose their phones. I guess you can do this with Siri too. Um, but that's one way you can find your phone if you lose it. So, um, yeah. Alright, hopefully this helps some people. Um, I guess there are a few ways to do it with both Google, Bixby, and Siri. Um, I don't know, Cortana probably can do it too, but I don't know anyone that has those Microsoft phones anymore. Alright, thanks for watching, hopefully this helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!